here we go. So let's um, take care about the um, last modeling um, part of this. So what we are um, try to do now is uh, to to create the you know the backside of that RAM. To do that, um, let me first of all create um, delete all those faces here. Delete those, and then let's select. Um, some faces uh, up here, and then cut the cut those out and copy, cut those out and copy those over. Okay. So let's uh, again. I'm using the paint selection tool. So so as you can see here, I've got 18 faces selected, and which is which is uh, cool. Um, so now let's go back to the side view, and then take my lasso tool and select the rest of that rim. Okay. Go to perspective, check if that's all right. That's looking good. So uh, like I said before, I've got 18 faces selected and now I'm doing the same thing that we did before. I go to mesh and say extract that. So now select um, that piece of geometry here. Um, one thing we uh, need to uh, do right now is we have to change uh, the pivot. To do that, um, hit um, D on your keyboard, and then move it just a you know a little bit in X, and then while holding down the D key, um, press now the V key, and then hover over one of those vertices here, and then middle mouse. And oh wait a second. So again, boom. There you go. So now we we've got the pivot, you know, exactly um, on that on that um, edge here. Okay. So now what we can do is we can uh, duplicate uh, that piece. Hit Control D, and then scale that um, negative one and X. There you go. So now. We need our duplicate special tool. Go to edit. Go to duplicate special. So we have to change uh, the settings. Um, so we got 18 faces. So we need to rotate that um, for 36 degrees. And we need all together. We need uh, yeah. So we got 18 faces. Uh, so we need nine copies. Okay. Let me type that in. Okay, say apply. So there you go. So now, the same thing as we did before, select all of those pieces, combine those together, and then go to vertex, select all of those vertices, and then say merge. And that's it. So now, I think what we could do is we could delete the edge in here. We don't need that delete edge. Uh, we can do the same with the inner edge loop there. Let me just double click on that. Say delete edge. And now I know um, the rim is uh, you know 10 inches and the radius so it's it's got 20 inches and it's um, from their website I think. Let me take a look at the website. Close that up. So you can see here. So it's uh, 20 inches or 11 by 20 inches. So let's uh, go back to Maya and uh, yeah, fix that. So go to the top view and turn on that grid. So we got, as you can see, we got 20, um, 20. Um, centimeters in this case but it's all about the dimension so we have to select all those vertices and bring those in till we have you know something about uh, 10 to 11 um, centimeters in this case so this is uh, Turn off that grid. Go to smooth. And there you go. That's it. I mean, that's uh, quick and easy. 
um, and like I said before, you can you can create your own rims, uh, whatever you want. It's uh, yeah, it's that easy. So, in the next lesson, we are going to try to uh, you know create a bump map, and laying out some UVs uh, to create you know the like I said before um, the, the those uh, the logo and stuff like that. So, all right, see you in the next lesson.